Let's see, Congressman and member of the House Oversight Committee, Tim Burchett. Congressman, um, so uh, Peter Navarro gets leg irons, Bannon gets arrested, Roger Stone for, for the same thing. Will we see, tell us the process to see, uh, I don't know, Hunter Biden some leg chains? If he uh, refuses to come in, we, we definitely should and will pursue that. Uh, the House Sergeant at Arms, of course, will be given that directive, I would hope. Um, what you saw Hunter Biden before, him and Eric Swalwell on the, there on the, Senate, on the Senate side, they didn't have the guts to come to the House side. He said he was going to talk to the press, and then he immediately got in his tax-funded suburbans in multiple uh, security detail that, uh, that Mr. Kennedy has not been afforded the opportunity, and he's a candidate for United States uh, presidency. So, you know, it's, it's a double standard, obviously, with his family. Everything they do, it's them and us. And he's uh, apparently feels like he's not to be held accountable. And, current, and so far, they haven't. You know, our Justice Department has is, is been uh, had their head in the sand about this thing the whole time. The IRS, they've received over $30 million, most of it foreign, a lot of it semi-criminal entities, in my opinion. You can still have an opinion in this country. Um, and they haven't paid a lick of taxes on it. And that gum, man, that's that's just not that's not feasible. You and I, we are twelve hundred dollars behind on a tax payment, and the IRS has sent us a letter. And we're having to get our accountants. They're thirty million dollars that they haven't shown where they've paid a lick of taxes. They let the statute run on much of this. I was talking to a noted accountant today, or Randolph Tuggle, and he told me that basically, you know, this is this is just craziness with with the IRS. This is not normal with them. This is obviously pressure um, from the highest offices. Uh, Congressman, so you said that you mentioned the sergeant at arms. You would tell him, I, the way I understand it, sergeant at arms could tell the Capitol Police, Capitol, if Hunter steps up foot on the Capitol grounds, he could be arrested. But to, to arrest him in his home the way they do to the people who support Trump, you would have to get the Department of Justice to get involved about, right? And will they, you think? I think they're pretty gutless. I think they've been corrupted by this whole administration. It's a, you know, if people want to call Washington a swamp, a swamp is something created by God that actually provides a purpose. It's, Washington D.C. is an open sewer, and and if we do, you know, if we convict him of anything on the House side or whatever you want to call it, it's still the Justice Department won't do anything about it, and the Senate's not going to do anything about it. Schumer doesn't have the guts to take this up. So, you know, I don't know what the final final resolve is on this, other than we hang this on them. And we show the American public again all the Ill illegal activity that they're doing, and that is, that is the jurisdiction of, of this committee, Chairman Comer and, of course, Chairman Jim Jordan from Ohio. They're both pretty diligent, and they're not. And they said this isn't going to be a lynching. We're going to follow the law, and that's exactly what we're. Congressman, it's amazing. Um, you know, this is how sneaky smart this guy is. He did that photo, that 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 announcement. The day you, that you subpoenaed him for a deposition, he did it the same day because you didn't have time to hold him in contempt. Had you have done that prior, you could have arrested him on the spot there. But he knew it was going to take a vote to get him uh, in contempt of Congress, and he, and he was going to be able to walk off that podium right there, sir. We got to go. Appreciate your time, Congressman Tim Burchett. Thank you. Thank you, brother.